the sensible course of action is just to get used to a less sweet diet. Aspartame is very, very widely used in both foods and drinks. Given that, the international agency is going to say it's a possible human carcinogen. But the Joint Expert Committee on Food Additives is probably just going to reiterate the status quo. I am not expecting abrupt policy changes to come from the USA, the European Union, the United Kingdom, or many other jurisdictions. That would be interesting to see. However, I do anticipate that the report of this conflict between these organisations will lead quite a lot of consumers to think, I want to avoid this stuff. Why take the risk? And I think the sales of aspartame-containing products is likely to decline. And if it declines quite sharply and remains low, food and drink companies are going to say, let's give up on this stuff and try something else. Now, from my point of view, I should explain that actually I've never yet met an artificial sweetener to which I would give a clean bill of health. But also, on the other hand, sugar's got serious problems too. So rather, the wise shift would be, instead of shifting between sweeteners, say, to another artificial sweetener, or from artificial sweeteners to sugar, the sensible course of action is just to get used to a less sweet diet, having less sugar and less artificial sweetener. And then I think public health would be substantially improved.